grab a glass jar or any type of container to use as your center. We're gonna wrap one towel around this jar and I'm using a rubber band to hold it in place. Then I'm gonna wrap a second towel around this one, again using a rubber band to hold that in place. To cover up the rubber band, I just grabbed some decorative ribbon, wrapped it around, and I'm using some hot glue to seal them together. You could also tie a nice bow. Now we're gonna grab our third towel, roll this up tightly and secure it with a rubber band, and then wrap the fourth towel around that one, securing it with a rubber band as well. And I'm adding that decorative ribbon to the next layer too. Now I can take this piece and set it on top of the first layer, and I have what looks like a cake. Now I'm gonna start decorating it. I'm adding two dish sponges to the back, and anything you stick in the cake can just stick in between all the folds of those towels. I'm gonna add a whisk, a couple spatulas, and a few wooden utensils. To finish it off, I'm adding a little gift card to the front so that my recipient can use it for more house items. This is a really fun way to give a housewarming gift and I hope it inspired you to make your own. Grab some affordable markers and other school supplies from the store. Start by laying the supplies with a double wrap tissue box. Then add a single box of tissues on top, place a pack of markers on each side of the bottom layer and wrap a rubber band around it. Place packs of crayons and glue bottles as the candles and secure with a rubber band. Add Lysol wipes on top of the tissue box and then add a rubber band and insert packs of colored pencils around it. Add some tape underneath the Lysol wipes to keep it in place. Then bundle three bottles of glue on top and secure with a rubber band. Cover the rubber bands with decorative border trim. Attach border trim pieces together to create longer strips. Now you have a cute back to school supply cake to gift or to use. I hope this inspires you to create your own back to school supply cake. Grab three barbecue themed kitchen dish towels from the Dollar Tree. Start by folding some square dish towels in half. Then take each folded towel and roll it up nice and tight, just like rolling up a newspaper. Once you've got the towel rolled up, grab a rubber band and wrap it around the middle of each one to keep it secure. You can do the same thing with cloth napkins. Just make sure that they are folded to the same size as the dish cloths, so the rolled cloths are generally the same size. Now grab a big bottle of dish soap. A 25 ounce bottle of Palmala dish soap works best for this project, but any dish soap bottle can work. Take the rolled up dish towels and cloth napkins and secure them to the bottom half of the bottle with a rubber band. Keep adding those rolled up towels around the bottle, just slipping them into the rubber band. Once you've got your first layer built, it's time to build it out. But this time, you are adding the rolled up gift socks. A rubber band won't fit around this layer, so use a piece of jute twine to secure them in place. For the top layer, use the rolled up bar cloths. Remember those barbecue themed kitchen towels? Take one of the towels and fold it inward so the word grill is showing in the center. Then wrap the rolled towel around the front of the cake and secure the ends with safety pins. Slide your towel cake onto a wood cutting board and tuck various barbecue tools like spatulas and tongs into the cake. I hope this inspired you to make a barbecue themed Father's Day gift cake out of simple dishcloths, socks, and a bottle of dish soap. I headed to my local dollar store and headed right to the cleaning aisle. There I picked up some essentials like a wooden scrub brush, some power wash, some rubber gloves, things like multi-purpose cleaner, some nice air fresheners, and then as well, I made sure to grab a pretty candle, some dish towels, and then after I was done there, I took a stop to my local grocery store and picked up a six pack of paper towel and a 12 pack of toilet paper. We're gonna begin with the paper towel. This is gonna be our base. So this is why we want a good sturdy six pack. Then we're gonna put our 12 pack of toilet paper on top. And then I'm also gonna throw in a box of Kleenex. Once these are all together, this is the Wonder Dots. These are gonna be used to hold everything in place. These little glue dots are amazing for getting things to stick where you want them to. Make sure it's nice and secure, and then I'm gonna add in the glue dots onto the Kleenex box. When you're putting down the toilet paper, you wanna make sure that you leave this nice edge here. So the edge is what we're gonna be using to put our things on. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do a dry fit, just placing everything on just to make sure it fits nicely. And then once I have it arranged where I like it, I'm going to add the glue dots to the bottoms of all my accessories here. So I'm going to go along making sure I put them in place and that they're nice and attached to the paper towel. 
Once I have these all in place here, I'm gonna add in my other fun extras like the wooden scrub brush and then um, I'm gonna go ahead as well and add in some pretty ribbon and we're gonna dress this up. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and then put a ribbon around the top tier as well and then add in a little piece of decorative lace just to add in that nice embellishment. Once this is done, I'm gonna come in and add in my last few remaining items like the dish towels, the rubber gloves, and just to make it a little bit more pretty. And we're gonna wrap that bottom ribbon around those again. To finish it off, I'm gonna add in a cute little bow here and I'm going to use the same ribbon that I put around the cake, but as well, I'm going to add in a little bit of extra uh, linen white ribbon just to give it a little bit more oomph. Once that ribbon is tied, I'm gonna go ahead and use a glue dot again and just stick that right in the middle. With my ribbon attached, this is my final project. So this is a great housewarming gift for somebody who's moving out for the first time or maybe a child that's heading off to college for the first time. You can actually really give this gift to anyone and it doesn't actually cost a ton of money. I would say the total cost for me here was about $45. I really hope you enjoyed this project. Head to Dollar Tree and grab yourself some microfiber towels, some dishcloths, and some various other kitchen items like a scrubber, a spatula, a whisk, all kinds of different things that you can use in the kitchen. So I'm going to take a bath towel first. This one I actually just got at Walmart because I needed a nice big one. And I'm just going to roll it around as you see here and connect it at the end. So I did a tri-fold and then rolled it. Then I'm going to take a bit of twine and I'm just going to twine that together and attach it so that it doesn't come unrolled. This here I'm going to be using in the center just to beef up this project a little bit. Then I'm going to take a disposable cake platter sheet and I'm going to put that underneath. And then I'm going to take my dishcloths here, try fold them, and then I'm going to layer them on top of each other, leaving just a bit of the end sticking out, I'd say just about three inches, and align them like you see here. And then I'm going to grab them all together and I'm going to wrap them around my bath towel. So I'm just going to rearrange them here, wrapping them around so that they're nice and um, straight around the bath towel. And then I'm going to take one more for around the back and place that around as well. Then I'm going to take a nice big stretchy rubber band and I'm going to wrap that around all the towels keeping them in place together. I'm going to take a microfiber towel here. I got this nice sage color and then I'm going to wrap that around all the other towels and then securing it in place with another large stretchy rubber band. Then I'm going to take a candle here and I'm going to place it in the middle just to give it some structure and then another candle on top and then I'm going to roll up some more of the smaller microfiber towels into these neat little sausage rolls and I'm going to secure them with an elastic and I'm going to continue doing this until I have enough microfiber towels to go all around the base form here. Then I'm going to take another decorative microfiber towel, wrap that around these, and secure that as well with a rubber band. After I've done that, I'm just going to take my last microfiber towel and I'm going to do a tri-fold and then I'm going to roll it up, leaving the center kind of open. So you see I can stick my hand in there and I'm going to secure this one with twine. And then I'm going to place it on top and then I'm going to take all the kitchen tools that I bought and I'm going to slide them down inside and as well adding some other things like sponges, can openers, scissors and the scrub brush. To cover the elastics that are going around, I'm just going to use this pretty ribbon and attach that at the back. And what I have here is a fun kitchen accessory cake. This is a perfect gift for like a bridal shower or a housewarming gift. Anyone who's just starting out, maybe somebody going away for college, just a few fun necessities that they may need and it makes just a creative fun gift for that person. So to begin I'm going to take these diapers here. I like to use a size 4 because I figure at most baby showers the mom-to-be will get more than her fair share of newborn diapers. So I found this pattern here. It's a trendy pattern and all I'm going to do is I'm going to begin rolling up the diapers starting at the elastic waistband and then securing it with a rubber band. You want to make sure that you roll the diapers in the same direction every time and you want to make sure that you also place the rubber band elastics directly in the middle of your roll. 
And then I also take them once I'm done and I line them up with my first diaper that I originally did just to make sure that the rubber bands are in the exact same spot because we are going to want to hide these rubber bands on the cake. So I just line them up here to make sure that the rubber bands are all in the same exact spot. So I continue making my rolls until I've done the entire box. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to start to make the bottom form of my diaper shower cake. So I take the diapers and I stand them up and I start to make them into the formation of a big circle. So just working along, the diapers stand up pretty nicely on their own. And again, making sure that the outside wall, all the diapers are facing with the fold on the inside of the roll. Then I take a large elastic and I just stretch it over top all the diapers and around to the other side just to loosely secure my first layer for the bottom portion of the diaper cake. I'm gonna set that aside and then I'm gonna go ahead and start on the next tier. So this tier we're gonna continue in the same fashion, except for that we're just gonna make it a little bit smaller than the last one. But again, making sure that all the diapers are facing out the right way, hiding any unsightly folds. I'm gonna take a rubber band, secure that in the same fashion as the lower tier, and then I'm gonna move on to the upper tier, which of course is the smallest tier. So I just need a few diapers for this and secure it as well with the rubber band. Then I'm going to stack all my tiers, starting with the largest one on the bottom, the middle, and then the top. I'm gonna to take these wooden craft sticks and I'm gonna slide them down in from the top tier down to the bottom. This is just gonna give a little structure and form to my cake and hold it in position. I found this beautiful blue ribbon that I'm going to wrap around the middle of the each tier, making sure that I cover the unsightly rubber bands. I'm gonna cut the ribbon to fit and apply it with just a little bit of hot glue. You wanna be careful that you don't get any hot glue on the diapers, so just glue ribbon to ribbon. I'm gonna repeat this process for the remaining tiers to cover the rubber bands on each tier. Once I have this ribbon in place, I'm gonna come in with this decorative crochet ribbon and just add a little bit of embellishment to the middle of the blue ribbon. This one I can just tie on at the back, so where my folds are, I'm gonna tie that. Then I'm going to come in with some decorative elements. So some beautiful trendy greenery, flowers, eucalyptus, anything that is really trendy right now and elegant. I'm going to top the cake topper with some flowers and again come in with some lamb's ear, anything green trendy and this is my finished diaper shower cake. I did add a little bow in the middle just to give it that extra touch and I'm super happy with how this DIY turned out. This is just a spin on a traditional diaper cake. It classes it up a little bit and just goes for a more pretty element. I really hope that you enjoyed this DIY and I hope it inspires you to get creative. To start this project, you're going to need some dollar store cutting boards. For this project, you're going to be using a red cutting board. Print out a recipe of your choice and cut it. Next, take the recipe outside and spray it with a clear coat. Once that dries completely, you can hot glue it onto the red cutting board. I added some embellishments to the top portion of my cutting board. I started with a wood adhesive plaque. I added some silver ribbon that I cut and tied on, and then I tied on some jingle bells to the bottoms. Now I have an heirloom recipe gift to give out for the holidays. For this project, you're gonna need two white cutting boards and three wooden cutting boards. Place E6000 or an adhesive of your choice on the sides of the wooden cutting board. Next, place your white cutting boards vertically on either side so that it touches the glue. Next, add E6000 glue to three sides of the other two wooden cutting boards. Place these two cutting boards on the sides to create a box and then place a dowel through the handles and let that become solid. Your box is ready. For this project, you're going to take a white cutting board and you're going to paint folk art home decor wood tint in the color walnut or oak over the top of the cutting board. Next, add some E6000 and place a magnetic clip onto the cutting board. Once that dries, add some embellishments by taking some greenery and a bow and hot gluing it and placing that onto the clip as well. Next, 
add a photo of your choice and you've made a wonderful gift to give out for any time or any season. And I hope this inspires you to make some cutting board crafts of your own. Before you head out to your next gathering this holiday season, be sure to make your hostess gifts extra special. Ugly sweater parties are so much fun and I thought I'd make this first bottle perfect to take to one. I'm going to start by wrapping it around the bottle. At the top, because the ribbon is so wide, I'm just going to tuck it under so that it fits a little more snugly. To make this bottle truly fit for an ugly sweater party, I want to add a huge bow. To attach it to the neck of the bottle, I'm just going to use some more hot glue and it's ready to go. For the next bottle, I have some green felt and I'm going to roll it into a cone shape. I want to make sure the cone will fit over the top of the bottle. Now that the cone is rolled, I'm going to tuck in the edges to give it a nice finished look. I have some fluffy white fabric that I'm going to cut into a triangle. I can attach the beard to the inside of the hat. To finish this little guy off, I want to add a nose. For my final bottle, I thought it would be fun to make it a little more elegant. I'm going to start by adding some winter greenery to the top of the bottle. I want it to kind of hang down across the bottle. Now that I've attached a few pieces of the greenery, I want to add these small sparkly ornaments. I'm using some hot glue on the backs to hold them in place. As a final little touch, I want to add a nice bow out of red velvet ribbon. My bottles are ready and waiting for my next holiday gathering, and I love their added adornments. No matter where I'm headed this season, there's a bottle that will be perfect to bring along. I hope this has inspired you to give your bottles a special touch as well. If we take a little look at our Lindor chocolate box, it's got the gold and the red, and I think that's going to be the theme that I'm going to go with today, red and gold. And of course, with Valentine's coming up, everybody loves chocolate for Valentine's, or at least I do anyways. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I thought today we're going to go with a red and a gold theme. Now I have this box here, it's red, and I also have a little plate, a little fork. This is just a serving fork that I got from the dollar store. And I also have these little table scatter, I think they're glass, like little gems in the shape of hearts. And what I'm going to do is to follow along with this whole red and gold theme, I'm going to spray paint some of this with my gold and I'm going to add some accents on my little box. Everything has all been painted gold. I've got my plate, my fork, my box and all my little gold hearts all spray painted in gold and they're all dry and I'm all ready to start assembling our little project. So for my box, I originally had this ribbon but I did take it off just to spray paint so I think I'm just going to throw the ribbon back on there. I like the red and the gold which is our little theme for the day today. So with just a little hot glue, I'm just gonna put this back together and add my ribbon to it. And there we go. I have my ribbon back on, my red and gold theme to match our Lindor chocolates. For the base and for the stand, the base I'm using is just a normal glass tea, plate, I guess you would call it, <laughs> where you put your little tea mug on there, <laughs> a side plate or a tea plate or something like that. And it's fairly heavy. Now, when you're doing something like this project, you're going to want to make sure your base is heavier than what's up above. So I'm just going to start with my fork here and I'm going to create little bends so I can attach it onto my plate and I'm just gonna see if I can straighten this out a little bit because that is where we are going to put our box coming down like that. So I think that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to use some cement adhesive and this is for all types of material. I'm gonna throw some on there And then I'm going to place that right about here, I think. I'm going to hold that down and then I'm going to take my glue gun because the glue from the glue gun will dry a lot faster than my cement adhesive. And my base is dry now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to attach my box at the top. And again, I'm going to add 
a generous amount of that cement right at the top here. I'm just going to lay it down, kind of position where I want it to go. So my structure is all dry, all the glue is in place, everything's intact. And I was mentioning earlier about the weight on the top half. So you can see mine wants to fall over, but I did plan for it and I do have this rock here. So if I put the rock on, voila, we're going to have a nice balance there and everything stands up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this rock down right at the bottom there with a little bit of hot glue. Now, don't worry, you're not going to see the rock because we will cover it up. Now that my rock is attached, I'm just going to take some felt here. And this is just red felt. I'm going to cut some strips of it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some hot glue down. And then I'm just going to start covering my rock. And I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to add some felt just right at the top here just to kind of hide what we've got going on there with the glue just to kind of clean everything up just a little bit. And now we're ready to take some of our Lindor chocolates and start gluing them to our wonderful sculpture. And I'm just going to take just a little bit of hot glue. I'm not going to put too much on there. It is chocolate after all. And then I'm just going to hold it right there at the top in place. And I'm just going to keep placing the chocolates randomly. And then as I put like one or two at the top, I'm going to put one or two at the bottom just to even everything out. And again, I'm just being very random with it. Oh, it's looking so good. I'm excited how it's coming along now. <laughs> and I hope you are too. And now I have all of my chocolates on here. Everything is ready to go. And what I think I'm going to do is I have spray painted some little hearts in the gold. And I'm just going to put the little hearts every now and then with a little bit of hot glue right on the back. Just to add a little bit of that gold. And I'm just going to place them every once in a while. And there you have it, our cascading Lindor chocolate, all ready for Valentine's. And then you can just take your chocolates off and have a little snack if you want. Here I have a container and I've already worked in a brick of foam and added just a little bit of moss on the top. So the first thing we're gonna work in is this really pretty bush. So it has really long tendrils and I think it's gonna look great right in the middle. I grabbed a couple of sticks from my backyard. I chose a thinner one and then two thicker ones. We're gonna take the thinner stick and we're gonna place it on the top. To secure it, I'm gonna take a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna add it to the main sticks. This is not gonna be holding up a great deal of weight and we're gonna just place it like that. Do the same thing to the other side and then give that a few minutes to harden up. I'm gonna take some wire now. We carry this in silver and gold. We're gonna further secure this. So I'm gonna take our wire and tie a knot where the two sticks join together with a little bit of hot glue. And then we can just take the wire and further secure it by tying it around all of these twigs. Now that we've worked in some greenery right on top of this, we're gonna take those two ends of those sticks and poke them right into the styrofoam. just like so. No hot glue is necessary. If you wanted to add some, you can, but with the length of these stems, it's gonna be really secure inside of that foam. Now I have some other greenery. I'm gonna actually work these in the back, kind of like a little forest. So we have two of them. I'll place one on either side of the back. Now I have an adorable baby outfit, and I think this will make the ultimate baby shower gift. So I'm just gonna take the little uh, set that we got, the little matching set and we're gonna just hang it at an angle and we're gonna use this like a clothesline using just some sticks from the yard. So now let's embellish the bottom a little bit more. Now I have some of these really cute lightweight moss covered rocks and I'm just gonna place those in the corner. And for the finishing touch, the cutest baby clothes ever, which happens to be shoes. So this is actually for my nephew. 
But again, I think this would make the ultimate baby shower gift. And if you know the gender of the baby, you can make it correspondingly. And here's how it turned out, and I absolutely love it. So this one was very economical to create, but you could absolutely include diapers, some toys, whatever you decide to gift. And I think it makes the ultimate gift. I did come back in with a little bit of moss on top of the wire that we secured our twigs to, and I think that was the perfect finishing touch. So I love how natural and organic this looks, and you can add lots of color if you decide. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and you're watching my home talk. See you in the next episode.